Welcome back, everybody, to Skyrim and the life of our good man, Marcius Dento. Thank you for your patience. My name is Red Walt. Thank you so much for joining us. I know you're overdue for an update on our good man here. We just woke up in the Bannered Mare with a horrible, horrible, blistering hangover. Um, one of the worst we've ever had in our lives. Lydia's just like, this is the guy? This is the thing? Oh, god damn it. Oh, it's raining. Okay, if you recall, we have a mission. We're gonna drink from the well. Probably uh, are very dehydrated. There we go. There we go. Um, we should probably eat a little food too. Yeah, eat this soup. Oh, I forgot we drank some skooma last night. Oh. And now we're... Oh, no. I just hit caps lock. <laughs> I was like, how do we get over a cupboard? So we have to travel north to Ulfric's kingdom. Where we can deliver Balgruff's axe, of course. I am a little worried about traveling into the frozen north in our current uh, get up. So I was thinking maybe we could buy some like warmer clothes here in War Maidens. Anybody home? Where are they? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. A courier. Let's see. A letter. Not sure who from. It's a letter. Just that he was a friend of yours. A mysterious like letter. Go. From a friend. Right behind you. Welcome to War Maidens. The finest weapons and armor. What do you got going here, man? Our carry weight is acceptable for the moment. We have stuff to sell. Oh, we have the Axe of White Run on our hands. That's fun. We don't need this high shield. Um. Yeah, I think everything else is pretty vital. Check it out, man. Do you have, like, heavy, a heavy coat or anything? Uh... He's got a fur hood. That might do better warmth than our helmet, but not, like, enough. Good doing business with you. Oh, real quick. Let's give Lydia the axe of a white run. Trades things with you. Of course. Because I think that's a nice little piece of flavor. Give her the axe. Um, and I believe we have a. Oh, I thought we had a white run cloak we could throw on her. That's okay. Let's get going then. Now she's rocking the axe. Of white run, beautiful. Oh boy. Shitty weather to start out in, but we gotta do it. Thanks all for your patience and indulging me while I just get my cyberpunk on super hard. Just having a lot of fun playing that game. But I cannot forget ever about our main man. Our mainest man. Marcy Stenta. The last episode, of course, there was all that crazy Nord magic, and we're just kind of like, ah, that was whack. We don't really believe anything they're saying. So, to get to Windhelm, we need to ride east, past the, uh, the, the towers there, and down into the swamplands, and then cut north. So that's pretty straightforward.
course the heat feels distant. Oh, real quick. Um, oh, there you go. Juke around the guards. Read that letter from a friend, huh? You caused a bit of a stir, the Bannered Mare, when you demonstrated the power of your thune. Oh god, were we shouting in the Bannered Mare last night? <laughs> Good lord. Uh, okay. I, for one. Hag's End. So that's, uh, the blades, right? Slowly sending us information about where to make our shouts more powerful. We're going to largely ignore that, though, because we are here for the Civil War. And this is not a Grand Skyrim playthrough, but if you remember, this is our Civil War permadeath run. So the goal is to just make it through the Civil War and then go home to Bruma alive. Hail, Traveler! We are wet. Yeah, it's pouring rain. Hope everybody's having a good weekend right now. Well, it's Sunday. You will probably won't see this till Monday. Nevertheless. Any of you watch football? Pick that lavender from horseback. Here we go, we're getting ready to pass the towers. Just, uh, we're riding past the big old deer there, that's okay. Serious? Get out. Get out. How dare they? And we got an ale out of that. Very good. I keep trying to hit shift to run faster. I'm playing so much cyberpunk. Oh wow, look at the beautiful scenery open up as the rainstorm kind of fades away. Gorgeous. So we don't have a lot of money. We did spend like all our money at the bar just buying bottles of wine and getting bottle service by the fire there. It's okay, we'll bounce back. We'll get some more cash. I'm not too worried about it. What are you storm cloaks doing? We should fight them, right? Yeah, hostile. I we have rabbit again. I'm getting sick of rabbit. Ah, how do I? I never remember how to get off my horse. Hey, storm cloaks. Where's Lydia? Oh, there she is. Why do you join the storm cloaks? I'm a true next lord. imperial. I see. Dead. Well, here's the next Imperial you see, broski. Oh! Whew! We actually got an assault bounty there. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. Because the witnesses were killed. Always take the arrows, I think. Technically, you know, we are on like a diplomatic mission right now. We probably shouldn't just be bodying enemy soldiers. But, I think it's important.
And of course, let's uh, we'll dispose of their bodies real quick. Miko, you gotta move. You gotta move. There, he moved. Swedes. Put our weapons away. Get back on our horse. Just a quick skirmish. New horse equipment available. I'll take a look at that when we get to Windhelm. Coming, team. There they are. We're crossing into Riverwood now. A village we're pretty familiar with at this point. Let's follow the signs. Rifton, Iverstead, Windhelm, North. Here we go. time is it 2.53 so I think we'll travel for just a bit longer and then before we hit sort of the snowy north we'll pitch camp for the night and I believe we have some campfire endurance perks to utilize so that will make our journey in the snowy regions easier the haze develops the surrounding pines very nice Wow, it's beautiful with the fog rolling in. Oh, we have a mill up here? Let's check it out. Okay. Concern you, Keep walking. We're officially in... Oh, shit. Stormcloaks are like, back off. Yeah, we're officially in enemy territory. I am moving along, just waiting for my my guys. They really don't like us there. That's okay. I mean, if we're wearing the Imperial uniform, I understand. I get it. Everybody accounted for? There's Lydia. Where's our assault dog? He'll catch up. Oh, but Jesus. It's a fucking saber cat. summon Miko real fast because I would like to, you know, I just like to make sure he's still around. Um. Oh. Oh. Shit. Oh. Lydia with the bow strike. I was worried there for a second. Make sure to pull your bow all the way back. To I thought power out of your shot. I thought maybe um that the saber cat was going to get Nico. Luckily, that didn't happen. What? What are you doing? Go back. Thank you. Let's ride. Okay, we're gonna continue on the road. We just had to make sure we cleared it so that Saber Cat didn't uh, jump out and eat Lydia or Miko as we rode past. Ooh, straying off the road there a bit. It's starting to get chilly out here, so there's snow. What time is it? It's four o'clock. You know what, guys? I'm gonna say. Hmm. Oops. Um, we're gonna dismount. 
Oh, I forgot I could do that. Quick dismount with vegan horses. That's awesome. Oh shit, another saber cat. Oh, I know where we are. We're gonna spend the night in that uh, shack down there, I think. Oh, right in the ribs. We are gonna hop across this river. Let's go. Uh, I thought we could maybe get across hop of those rocks there, but it is deep. We're gonna get wet, and the water. We're gonna get cold. Okay. Oh, it's cool and refreshing. Nice. Miko, he went for a nice swim. Riverside Shack. Uh, it's clear that the saber cat eat, ate somebody in here, and that's a little grim. But, uh, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna unlock this chest. It looks like a fine place to spend the night on our travels. Oh shit, a treasure map? Let's check that out. Whoa, what are you doing? Do -do -do. Books, treasure map, free. Okay, uh... Tower without a top. S structure in the background. I think it's a. I think that in. I think that shape in the background is probably Windhelm. We'll keep our eyes out for something like that as we progress. <clears throat> there is a little fire in here. That's nice. Um, I'm gonna start our own fire outside the shack because I think we need to. Um, where is resourcefulness? Build campfire. Oh, here we go. Oops. Realistic, please. We have a couple perks uh, in the campfire mod that we can use. And the only way to do that is oh, by yeah. starting a fire. Uh, ooh, is this the first time we built a fire? Well, here we go. I've been lugging around a ton of firewood too long now so we're gonna just build a huge a huge fire see that's why we picked up those linen wraps and then we'll just use fire magic yeah to start the fire oh very What's cool on your mind? I'm starting a fire Lydia um, build this flickering campfire and then a crackling campfire. Dope. So that'll do us good on the carry weight. And it'll also, we have this great fire here. Fire out inside and fire outside. Real quick, so let's go to skills. Skip the tutorial there. These little magic uh, bugs will show up. And here we go. Select firecraft. We have zero perks in Firecraft. We have, okay, so we have zero perks in the Campfire skill. But we should have a perk in the Endurance skill. This is what keeps our warmth rating up. We're at perks to increase one. Increase warmth rating by 20. Choose perk. Hmm. Beautiful. And then we'll exit skills. right behind you nice that way we'll, we'll have a higher warmth rating we'll stay a little bit warmer as we travel north it's this book pirate king i'll take it sounds like a nice read but we kick back tonight sleep in that bed very cool anything in here nope sweet lydia's gonna stand guard we're gonna get an early night's rest because last night well we were up till the crack of dawn so we're gonna sleep till about sunrise Wake up, drink water, eat food, and head to the city. Ooh, the fire leaves us feeling uplifted. Sorry, Mika, I didn't, I'm trying to 
destroy our fire pit here. Let me know if you have anything you need. It's really dark. Really dark. Finish off our stew. Drink an ale. Drink some water. Well, it has not even sunrise yet. We have to cross the river again, don't we? Yeah. Let's get back to the road. We'll wait for it to narrow. God, it's dark. Can't see shit when it's not. Let's get our torch out. That helps a bit. Here we go. There's some rocks we can hop the river over. Oh, there's a bridge. There's a mill. We don't have to even get our feet wet. Beautiful. up there that looks like that's the main road yeah okay so we don't we can just go back and, and take that road north we're all we're actually we're almost there wow oh you can see the walls of the city in the far distance that's super cool the world you know skyrim feels so big the first time you play it and then you realize it's not that big but i mean it's still expansive don't get me wrong but we did just ride from White Run to Windhelm with a good bit of walking and a camping overnight really quickly. Wow. Wow. Look at the, the lights. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh. As the sun begins to rise, I think we could probably, uh, Put our torch away. Oh, wow. We come with a message for the y'all. Wow. Look at this. Oh, it makes me want to go snowboarding so badly. I keep... I keep drawing my sword when I don't mean to. But then again, you already do that. I do that all the time. There's a crumbled tower there. I'm thinking maybe that might be the treasure map. We'll investigate that. You can see it? Right right over there behind the statue. We'll investigate that after we do our mission. That's, you know, recreational stuff. Oh, I love the sun coming out. What are you doing here? Hmm. I told you, it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely welcome... Don't bother me, peasant. I've had a long journey and paid too much coin on these gifts to be late to Vittoria's wedding. Vittoria? Uh, enjoy the wedding. Indeed, if we ever get there. Hopefully these gifts no will put thief. us in her good graces. She's mugging us, she's like, what are you doing, fucking Imperial? Sorry. We're here... I order the yard. I command you to hold. We're here on um, official business, but we'll pay the fine. In order. God damn it. <laughs> uh. Ooh, look at this. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm cloaks. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. Hey! Got ways of finding out what you really are. I don't like the way you're talking to her. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No, I don't hate your people. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking, unworthy of one such as you. Hmm. 
Looks like those Nords are giving Nothing you trouble. There. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling <coughs> insults at us in the small hours of the morning. What a no, little real brick. Charmer, that one. What a brick. All right, then. Hey. Oh, of course we're freezing. There it is. Wow, look at this grand city. It's beautiful. Grand old city. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Palace of the King. We're quite in awe of the, the grandeur of these structures. Um, we're here to see the Jarl. Excuse me, sir. Here to see the Jarl. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all day. For Ulfric? Well, nothing official. Known him for years. He seems to value my thoughts, and I'm grateful for that. I don't really have a mind for war, and I think he likes having an untrained opinion from time to time. Um, that's Travel nice. Safety. It's oh, dangerous it's out there. in the war room. Sir. I come with tidings of the war. Yes, make it quick. I'm a busy man. Um, there's a lot to say, obviously, but we're here on business. Is that so? I've been wondering when he'd come around. Oh, what's this? Ah, you're quite brave to carry such a message. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the man who sent it, and tell him he should prepare to entertain visitors. I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of Whiterun in the near future. That's it. Take care. All right. Not one to linger on words. We delivered our I message. Oh, excuse me, Miko. And the Jarl clearly does not want us around, so we're going to leave. God damn it. I'm gonna lug the axe all the way back there now. Harald. Olaf One Eye. Great names of Skyrim's past. I'm gonna pop into the tavern here and buy some food. Because we are about out. Okay, so we gotta get warm and buy some food. Miko, oh, what a good boy. Lydia looking pretty dope. The bartender is not is not here. <laughs> that that makes things interesting. Uh, hello, sir. I own Hollyfrost Farm outside the city. It's honest work, <laughs> if a bit dull. Hey, man. Keeps you out of the, the, the wars, the battles that are happening. Keeps you alive. Innkeeper! <coughs> Aha! Oh, Susanna the Wicked. How can Elda hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little about them? Uh... Let me get some Depends. food. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Both, actually. Uh, da, da, da. I would like the soup. Bread soup. It's cheap as hell. A bunch of bread soup. And some bread to go with it. <laughs> um, we really do not have See a lot around, of handsome. money these days. You didn't hear it from me. Of course. Mm-hmm. I have not been worrying about our money too much, and I spent a lot back. of it at the bar. 
Anybody here we can hang out with? Ooh, Stenvar. This guy's If a it's joke. a mercenary you're looking for, you found him. There's no stronger sword arm for hire in all Skyrim. I'm gonna hire him. My blade is sharp and I thirst for battle. Onward then. He's got that dope dwarven greatsword. Joe. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, now we really have no money. <laughs> but we're completely warm. So it's time to be on our way. There's no way uh, Bulgriff doesn't pay us for delivering the uh, axe, right? Mm -hmm. He'll definitely pay us. And then, after the Battle of Whiterun, we'll be able to loot the battlefield pretty good. Take all that shit up to Ulfric Warfare. So all hope is not lost. Oops. I really want to find that buried treasure. Um... Uh, treasure map three it was. Okay, this is hard. The more I look at the picture in the back, the more I think it's not Windhelm. Look at that big spiky mountain right behind it. And there's water there at the bottom. Like maybe it's coastal? Is it coastal? I am not sure, but if we turn around... I don't, I just don't think, there's no water up there, there's no spiky, that's a spiky ass mountain, isn't it? But it's on the wrong side, it needs to be over here. Okay, well, we'll we're gonna leave that for now, we're gonna get on with our mission, our job, uh... Since we have so little money, I'm not even going to hire a carriage. I'm just going to keep riding. What was I about to do? I was about to call our horse. Gotta love the magic of Skyrim. Woohoo! What a squad. Uh, we'll be able... We should get the both of them... The both of them. Some Imperial, uh, armors, you know? Imperial uniforms, so we can all look dope when we go on these missions. That won't be too hard to do. I, I'm sure there will be plenty of bodies with uniforms. So maybe we need to go uh, south. Yeah. Kind of boring to just retrace the road we just took, even though I think it's the smart one. It's really cold and snowy up here. And we can cut down like that. I'm gonna go west. Bring it on, wolves. Uh. Whoa. Who are you? There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. Oh, for real? I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Uh... Where that sounds cool. I can save you some trouble. No, I think I got this one. Okay. Thanks, though. Well, she's got it. And if she's got it, she's got it, you know? Ah, a mill. I just want to discover it without getting soaked. There we go. Our horse keeps us warm. We're taking the speedy overland route. Well, it's not the speediest, but we're a hauling ass. Oh shit. 
I think we have, yeah, some bandits on the road up ahead. You think you can take me? Ah! Any more? No? No, okay. But we are freezing. We gotta get inside this little hole. Let's warm up. And I assume probably dispatch a few more bandits in here. Oh, wait. Do we we have a, a level up, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's get it into our stamina. We have two perks. I want to get this time to block. So if we block for a second, we get like defensive stance and we block 30% more damage. That's super great. Um, and then can we get anything else in light armor? Yeah. Take less damage is always key. Lydia levels up. Stenvar didn't level up. I'd rather fight bandits than Draugr. At least bandits know when to stay dead. Hey, you and me both. Let's get our torch out. We're chilly. Well, it's not very nice in here, is it? Bandits are cowards. I thought, uh... I swear you won't leave here alive. Ooh, one, two, punch, Miko. Damn, another one. Oh, Miko got that guy real good. I just wanted to get out of the snow, but in here it's a frozen ice cave. Come on, come on. Uh. Huh. Fuck, what a squad. Oh, this feels great. Take your steel arrows. Oh, and that ale. Here we go. Here's a fucking a fire we can hang out by. Just take all that. Yeah. Oh, do you hear the cook pot boiling? Oh. <laughs> Oh, Miko! There is only one one player here. Miko's the only one really playing the game. Alright, this is dope. I warmed up a bit. That bandit really came out of nowhere. He was about to blindside. He was about to just smack me with Get that mace. A fight. And Miko just jumped in the way and, and tore his throat out. Notes. Uh, I don't really want the uh, alchemist notes right now. Is someone here? Uh, but I can do things myself. Oh, Take it everything. Sleeping tree sap. Doing it all. I don't want to die. Get up. Oh. oh, oh. Oh my god! Where? Hey guys. Okay, you guys, this has to stop.
Okay, well, I, I tried to make them stop. Um, wait, I, I did. Stop. That should, that should stop things. Um, I think we cleared it, right? Except for that, that weird, I think she's some kind of magical paralysis is going on. Um, really not worried about it. We're gonna keep on, we're gonna keep on. I really thought, uh, that was the end. I, I was thoroughly convinced we were going down. But holy shit, we didn't. Well, she did. She gave us a leg injury. Which is why we were moving really slow for a second. Oh, come on, Miko. Come on. In case you forgot, we are still playing Skyrim. It's definitely Skyrim. Okay, we're all the way over here. They're still chasing that guy down. So I'm just going to leave the cave and reset their cells. Because we got warm enough by the fire. We're good. We can go outside. And we should all be hanging out. Let's just re-summon them all. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the snowstorm has passed. So we can go get back on our horse. Maybe uh, drink a bottle of ale there real quick. Because... Wow, that was close. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, I thought that might have been the end. As I was, like, slowly looking through all the potions, just processing the fact that the game playthrough might be over right there. I was freaking out, man. Alright, we gotta keep on our journey south. Gotta make it back to Whiterun. really diverged from the um, road. Mara's eyes pong. Mara's eye pong. It's not just, it's just one eye. It's not a plural eye. It sounds like a spriggan. Fuck that. Brigand will end us. Alrighty, let's just make sure our guys are not fighting that Spriggan. Thank you very much. We can all put our weapons away. Lydia, you're missing your axe. She'll figure it out. So where do we uh, get to? Oh, we cut way south. All right, well, here we are. This is our path. I'll ride back to White Run, White Run real fast. That's a fucking tongue twister. White Run real fast. White Run real, real fast. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Oh, shit. It is the old orc. Should we try to fight him? I think so. I think it's a it's a fitting thing to do. Now I am gonna save real quick because the last time I did try to fight the old orc, uh, my game had a total crash. So uh, that's just a precautionary. It's not a death save. It's it's a crash save. And look what a beautiful setting for a duel. Holy shit. I am waiting for a good death. A, why, a good death? Yes. Were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malakath. Why do you wish to die? My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me, as you can see. It has not yet arrived. Perhaps I could give you the death you seek. Perhaps. Are you sure about this? I'm sure. Hmm. We shall see.
Oh! Whew! That, um... That was a good fight. That was a really good fight. I'm gonna just manual loot this cat so we can set it on fire. Because I do believe this, this old orc and his saber cat's last kill. Oh my god, two saber cats. I have to do the quick manual loot, check for loot. Might as well take his teeth. And uh, we're gonna send this orc off in grand style here on top of the waterfall. Uh, did I not check for loot already? Because we set his saber cat blaze and send him off to Malakath. Wow. Wow. What a stirring moment, a stirring scene. Rest easy, old orc. Travel the roads well. But guys, I think we're gonna leave the episode here for now. Thank you all so very much for watching. Again, my name is Redwald. Um, I will definitely have more Skyrim and more Bannerlord coming your way. Thank you for indulging my cyberpunk binge. Um, but all things will continue. Thank you all so much for watching again. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. All right, everybody have a good one. I really thought we were going to die <laughs> a minute ago there. So, whew. Good shit, guys. Good shit.